The introduction of mandatory helmets and hurling has dramatically reduced the number of facial injuries but increases the risk of ear injuries. A new medical report suggests redesigning helmets to include ear protection. Tipperary fullback Declan Fanning is among a number of high-profile hurlers to sustain a serious ear injury since the introduction of mandatory helmets two years ago. After this head-to-head -head against Wexford in 2010, he needed 25 stitches. Researchers at Cork University Hospital have found that while facial injuries are down almost 40% since the introduction of the helmets, there's been a notable increase in the number of serious ear injuries. We found that of 817 injuries in 1986, none of them were actually involved the ear, whereas now it's commonplace for us to be seeing them coming through the plastic surgery department in Cork with ear lacerations following a direct strike from a hurl. The authors say the GA should reconsider the specification for helmets, but Micro, makers of one of the country's most popular brand of helmet, say helmets with ear protection already exist, but there's little or no demand for them at the moment. Uh, basically, it's uh, our normal helmet and we just have a bit of a prototype there of um, what the ear protection piece would look like. Um, there's probably not that much demand for it at the moment, but we do it for special cases or if anyone has ear implants or anything like that, you know. There is an awful lot of ear injuries happening. A lot of younger players in clubs getting just little nicks and stuff like that. So if uh, the NSAI decide to bring that in, um, we'd be ready to have this prototype coming out. As the GAA prepares to introduce compulsory mouth guards for its footballers from 2013. The report's authors also recommend the association begins logging ear injuries so that a true picture of the need for ear protection can be seen. Jenny O'Sullivan, RTE News, Cork.